In a relationship, equality is an important factor that can determine its long-term sustainability. However, in some relationships, women may desire to control every aspect of their partner's life, expecting them to obey and always comply with their demands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find your name and I'm gonna you up in the real life. Okay, stop. How about don't touch me? I'm gonna find you in the real world. However, these controlling desires can lead to tension and intense arguments in the relationship, potentially causing significant harm to individuals and property. So, when the controlling behavior of these women is discovered, what legal consequences might they face? Are you kidding me? Stand up! I'll drag you a goddamn infant! And these will be revealed in today's video, featuring the prominent figures of the day. Our first case takes us back to January 8, 2023, officers responded to a domestic violence call. The caller stated her husband had hit her in the face and suggested the police allow him to drive off so they could arrest him for DUI. The officers then approached the husband to find out what had happened. Man, she's drunk and going out of her goddamn mind. Okay. If you could just get her away from here for the night. So what happened? Look, I'm not, I don't want to put her in jail. Okay, the now that's the truth. I don't want to put her in jail. Males. She has to leave here for tonight. She's drunk out of her mind. I mean, she has to be gone. And this is my buddy Frank. He works for me from time to time. Just Extremely you know violent with us tonight. And, I mean, I'm just not going to continue with this dumb... She's in there by herself. Are the kids home? The kids are sleeping. One kid's sleeping on the couch. The other's sleeping in her room. I promise you that... Is that her right there? Oh, it's um, the cat. Yep, that's her right there. Her. Okay. I mean, that we'll, would, we'll see what the what the plan is going to be, but yeah. they're going to talk to her, and I'll we'll hang that out. That would be great. I'm not trying to here. put her in jail. I don't want anything like that. But if you could just get her away for the night, that would be great. Okay. What's going on tonight? Okay. Can you kind of walk me through what happened? Come in. Thank you. So what's going on? Um, he busted me in my lip. What side of your where where at on your lip? It's like, I don't know, it was just a lip. How did he hit you? Elbow. Yep. With his elbow? Okay. I don't, I don't think it was intestinal, but it happened. As far as physical stuff went? Mm -hmm. Okay. What were you guys arguing about? Me and her has been fighting nonstop forever, right. and it started to get physical, not on my part. I mean, I'm sure you can look at my lip and say, oh, that lip. Yeah, right here. Okay. But, I mean, I'll, I'll I, I don't want to put her in jail, obviously. Unlike the statement given by the wife, the husband's account opened up a new perspective in their story. According to the husband, he is the victim in this story. She hit me about five times. I don't want to put her in jail. I don't. I don't. That's I, today. Just now. Just yeah, now. Just in here. Yeah. I wouldn't let her go through my phone. That was the deal. She said, um, and I knew what the deal was. She's like, go in and delete a couple pictures of me. I'm like, okay, I'll delete it later. And that's where all this came from. And she's like, oh, what are you hiding? What are you talking about? I'm not hiding nothing. Mm -hmm. And then I knew she just wanted to go through my phone. So not, I'm not going to do that because... Clearly, the wife is attempting to control her husband, disregarding their prior agreements. If the man's story is accurate, the wife needs to face consequences for her irrational actions. Not because I have anything to hide. I'll show you my phone. You can go through no, it. I, but I, no, I have I nothing to hide. Okay. And um, she hit me one time. I'm about tired of you hitting me. I'm not going to put up with you hitting me anymore. And I'm telling you that. And then, and then she told me, she said, came in, sat beside me like this and got in my face. She said, I'm telling you right now, open your phone or I'm busting you in your mouth. At the same time, several other officers were also taking statements from the wife. We're not. Yeah, we've been here for a while. Well, I mean, but last night, that song was bad. Huh? I was here last night. So kind of walk You got an attitude. Look, you already walk over. Hey, John, can you kind of <laughs> just walk me through what happened tonight? And that's what she did. She busted me in my mouth like and busted five, me in my Five face. times, you said? Yeah, about five times she punched me. You guys, are, not, you guys are married, yeah, right? And then yeah, I'm not pressing charges. You, you got, you, I know, I get it, but you guys, the kids, you share your kids together, correct? Yeah, I just want her gone for tonight. If you take her for a right. motel, I'll even pay for the motel, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm not trying to put her in jail. She's drunk out of her mind. And okay, I, I hear mean, you. When, you. when you continuously just hit on me, I'm tired of it. Real quick, I'm going to talk to my sergeant. If you guys can just hang out right here, I appreciate it, okay? And could you please emphasize, I don't want yes, to press for sure. for doing it. I'll even pay for the most time. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to get your side No, you That's guys all. are mean. Like, How are we mean? Because. I'm not being mean to you right now, am I? You I called us here, right? I know, I did. Yes. So, we're here to figure out what happened. 
we have to get both sides of the story. The people was like a lot better. They was so much nicer. And I think they hung out with us. Me. You just come See? in and you just want to like bull right everybody. No, I, like, just, I just want to know what happened. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure <laughs> out what happened. In this couple's narrative, each accuses the other as the instigator, and both request that the police provide a hotel room for the other to stay overnight. With conflicting evidence from both sides, the truth remains elusive. Join us as we follow the police investigation to unravel the facts behind this story. Other than him hitting you in your lip with his elbow, and you said you think it was accidental? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to see happen? I want him to leave. He's got well, money, he can go get a hotel. I, I know we've we've been through this before. All right. Can't All right. force him to, but you can make him think that if he doesn't, that he'll go to jail. Well, we're not going to tell him that he's going to jail if he's not, okay? You we can suggest to him to go somewhere. We can take him somewhere, especially if he's been drinking. Obviously, he can't drive if he's been drinking. Can offer to take him to a hotel or something? Yeah, please. If he doesn't want to, we can't force him to leave. Is there somewhere you can go? Can we take you somewhere? Did you ask him? Yeah, we'll ask him. But I, I'm Please. During the investigation, the woman appeared agitated when the officer did not comply with her request to let her boyfriend stay at the hotel. After investigation, the police identified the woman as Jennifer, aged 43. Now, let's continue to delve into the story. I'm trying to couple, come up with an alternative. Yes. If he doesn't want to, are you willing to leave? Can we take could you somewhere? Could you not be so loud and could you just, like, lower your voice and say that, like, did you ask him? No, your, your bottom lip, can you pull it down so I can see the inside of your lip? How do you know which lip got hurt? I'm trying to figure out where you got hit, right? <laughs> yeah, it was the top lip. It, it was the top lip, okay. It swollen. Okay. Can you lift your top lip up for me? All right, just hang out here for a minute. I'm going to go talk to Ed. And I have nothing to hide. And I'm like, well, I have nothing to hide, but is what I go through. And then, and then at least the physical And then next thing I know, I just know that she's not going to keep hitting me. I can tell you that. Frankie can tell him who hit who. Get out of here. When Jennifer stepped outside the premises of the house, she was arrested by the police for her violent behavior. It seems she still believed her perfect victim act was foolproof, so when she was arrested, she appeared surprised and started crying as if she was the one being unfairly detained. However, her true aggressive nature quickly emerged. Um, Can you take your hands out of your pocket? Uh, no, you, you asked me, I was checking, I was no, checking. Take your hands out of your pocket. pocket. Yeah, well, I was that checking. wasn't a turn around for me. For failure to appear, they're coming to take her You're under arrest, okay? It's for domestic violence. Wait, what? Dear I'm you? serious. Your husband has injuries from you hitting him in the face. Oh, We're gonna walk towards the end of the driveway here. Watch your step. I called you guys. I called you guys. We're here. Hold on, don't fall face force. Okay, you're fine. I called you guys. Okay, no, 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 we're not Are fighting. I'll help you get in the car. Yeah, you did call us. Don't give me a look. Ed! We're not fighting with Ed about this right now. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Have a seat. No. Turn this into a thing or you're going to get more charges. Have a seat in the car. Do you understand, really? Like, this is f***ing us just... I called it you guys. It does not matter. It, it should. But it doesn't matter. Just hang on to her. I'm going to go around no, the other I'm side. Seriously, guys, seriously. Just have a seat. It's oh, not shit. simple. Just sit down. I was yeah. trying to struggle with you. Do you understand? I called you guys here. All right, if you can push her shoulders down at the same time I sit her down. Why should I do it? You're going to end up getting tased. Is that what you want? You have to get you in the car. You are I under arrest. Do anything. Do you understand me? Is it optional? God damn it, Ed! You guys ready? Oh, yeah, it's okay, it's so great. Sit down, sit down, let them go to jail, like always. While taking statements from the husband, the police officer noticed his friend, recognizing that this man had an outstanding warrant. Therefore, after arresting the suspect, the police also detained this man. All right, Frank. All right, man. They do want you so I have to take you, okay? I'll try to explain to you better when we get in the car what it's no, for. No, get, 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 get. We're not going to yank you out of here this second. Uh, no, no. Just need, need, need him to, 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 uh, to, 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 to take my things. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Can I ask him? Hold on, get your hands out of your pocket, okay? That's what you hand in your back, all right? Okay. That's just what I'm we have to, to do. I'm trying to put my rock. I'm trying to put okay, my rock on my... Try to keep your uh, the back of your hands together for me, okay? Apparently, I got a warrant that, uh, that I did not know about. Clearly, we'll check when we get in the car. You have control, you? Yes, and I need I need you to, uh, you to get a order, Mandy. It's in my phone. Where's your phone? In my pocket. Hold on, sir. Stop moving out. You're getting too tight. Jennifer was immediately transported to jail. However, during the transport, she incessantly yelled, kicked the back of the vehicle, 
and issued numerous threats towards the police officers. Perhaps beyond the charges already mentioned by the police, she should face additional charges for her threatening behavior. Do you agree with this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and participate in the discussion with everyone. Jed, stop kicking the car. You if you damage the, the car, you're gonna catch another charge. You. I called you. Did Edgar not talk to you? And then we. No, we talked we talked to him. I heard him talking to me. He was Come not on. talking to you. He was talking to us. Come on, really? You realize that your name can be Googled and your address and everything, right? Okay, that's fine. You can f your whole life up. Is that a threat? Oh, that's a promise. I'm sure the courts. Promise. It's a promise. You wanna f me and Ed? Go ahead. Go ahead. Seven five four. Guaranteed. Eighteen thirteen. Open south. Handbrake for anything. She continued to issue numerous threats, and each action and word from her became a form of invisible harassment against the officers. You continue to f with me. Towards my nose, this is. How about I don't touch me? I said don't touch me. No. I want you to fall. No. Me and my husband could have figured it out. Don't touch me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find your name. I'm gonna. You up in the real life. Okay, stop. Have a, don't touch me. Have a seat. I'm gonna find you in the real world. Sit down, don't move. Ooh, sit so down. Don't be scared. Sit down. Don't be scared. Don't touch me. Jen, stop. Okay, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. What's your name? Oh, Pajeska. Oh, you're the one that got me on a DUI. Going so mad. Yeah, throw me in there. Throw me in the cell. Let go. My attorney's gonna fuck your whole life up. I hope you know that. My attorney's gonna fuck you up, just so you know. Let me take these cuffs off you. Yeah, thank you. The cat open the The female was charged with domestic violence and resisting arrest. After this incident, perhaps the husband should reconsider changing the living environment for their young child and think about their safety in the future. The child should not live with this violent woman, and he does not deserve to endure the aggression of this woman. What do you think about the woman in this case? Do you think she will give up her controlling behavior after getting out of jail? Or will she continue her behavior? Please leave your comments to share your thoughts. The desire for control among some wives has reached extreme levels as they attempt to dictate even their husband's gaming habits. Stay tuned to find out how this story unfolds. So I grabbed her by the face and I started screaming, I'm sorry, just over and over like four times. She <laughs> how many times? In the face? Yes. On January 15th, 2023, the police received a report from a neighbor about a loud argument next door. It seemed that the couple living there was having a major conflict. A little while later, the officers arrived at the couple's house. The wife was the one who answered the door and spoke with the police. The woman was identified as Nicole. She was one of the two people the officers needed to investigate. 1389, I have an open door. Up. Can you step out here? 1389, I got a 74 coming out. Okay, what's going on? Me and my husband just got in a big fight. Well, a neighbor called and said you guys were screaming at each other, so that's why we're here. Okay, okay I've been pounding on the door for the last several minutes. Sorry. Come on, come on. We just got in a big fight. I mean, our kids just went to bed. We just got in a big fight. We, I went into the room. He went into the bathroom. Okay. Well, the neighbor called and said that you two were screaming at each yeah, other. Yeah, he was standing out here. You I were... Was, I came out to Okay, let me talk to each other, slamming doors, telling him to get away from you. I heard screaming when I pulled up. Yeah. So that's not a regular fight. I'm gonna leave, because the only place he has to go is clear out down to the country where his family lives. My mom lives here in town, but we can't really separate right now, so we just went in a separate okay. room. what's your name? Nicole Crabtree. What's your social name? Or S-H-A-W-N. When's his birthday? After listening to the woman's side of the story, the officers, to ensure they didn't miss anything, requested to enter the house for further investigation. Once the woman agreed, they approached the husband to assess his situation. The man's situation reveals that this isn't just a typical argument as described by the woman. Listen to the husband's statement to understand how appalling Nicole's behavior has been. 1389 266 is. Cole, do you mind if I step in and just have a chat with him? He's, I don't. 
Right, do you need a medic or anything for your hand? No, you're good. Okay. So, so you tell me what happened. Play 355. He got kicked a lot. So one of our friends wanted to explain why he thinks, but he he did explain it through text. Tried to start a party. I am anti-social, general, and social anxiety. Sure. I even avoid it with my brothers sometimes. Okay. Um, she got mad that I didn't join. And I tried to say, like, I, I didn't feel like I had to join, join. Okay. And she, she was yelling at me over that, and she went into something that happened earlier because I thought she was lying about something, that whole situation. Mm -hmm. But it was proved that she wasn't, and I apologize. Okay. I, I said, like, I didn't have a right to do that. You're right. I'm wrong. Like, I shouldn't have Sure. Sure. So I grabbed her by the face, and I started screaming, I'm sorry. Just over and over, like four times. She how many times? In the face? Yes. Where at? Right up here. Let me get my flashlight. Close your eyes real quick. This is really bright. Um, I feel like my lips a little sore. Look in the mirror for me. Tell me if that spot on your forehead is that from your hand or is that a cut? Um, a cut. Wait, I'm right. No, no, that's a kind of scratch. That one looks like a scratch. What about the one this right above? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It feels like it felt like a scab. That's okay. Fine. Is that new? It feels kind of scary. Yeah. I just didn't know if it was blood or a, an injury. Um, okay, so you grabbed her by the face and apologized, and she... I screamed, I'm sorry, and she hit me. I pushed her away and tried to get away. Did she hit you like a, an open hand, closed fist, or do you know? This. Okay. Calming me. Did it I'm hurt? Sure. Okay. So it wasn't just like a little get away from me? No, kind of? okay. it was a, She was pulling on me. Uh, Is that why your shirt's like that? Yeah. Okay. I got, I got away, and just right there. Okay. I came in here, I, I shut the door, it wasn't locked, so I stood against it, mm -hmm. against it. So this is from, this is from tonight? Yes. Okay. Do you know what she was doing to try to get in? No. I know she was kind of throwing herself against it at one point, but I don't know okay. what else. Through the husband's statement, the cause of the argument leading to this altercation originated from a video game. This woman may have a late-stage control disorder, arguing and abusing her husband while the children sleep without concern that her loud actions might wake them, all to satisfy her desire to control her husband. The officers returned to Nicola after completing the statement from her husband. It was upon their return that Nicola had to face the consequences of the mistakes she had made. Dude, I'll call you back in a minute, wait for you there. So this officer's just gonna get some photographs of you real quick. Get get her shirt too. She's got she's got blood on her shirt. Okay. And then get that rag too. You did. Okay. All right, Nicole. I want you to do. I, what I need you to do is stand up for me. Go and put your hands behind your back. Okay. We'll use two cuffs for you. Yeah. Alright, Nicole. So I'm placing under arrest for domestic violence, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. I'll be appointed to you. Turn back around. Turn back around. Just real quick, so you understand why you're in. Okay, you have the right to remain. Okay, well, stop talking and let me let me read them to you. You have the right to, to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, you want to be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? 1389, 7425, she's in The woman continued to search for excuses to defend herself, only realizing she was being arrested when the officer exposed the truth. Nicola was then escorted to the back seat of a vehicle to be transported to jail for booking. Can you get me a CCH on her for 1018, please? Why um, domestic hit him or hurt him? Or so the county we live in, Fairfield County, domestic violence is a preferred arrest as well as in the state of Ohio to press charges against you. However, because we showed up here and we said that you struck him in the face and he had visible injuries that corroborated that. Well, for right now, yes, because we don't have proof otherwise. Let's go but side. if he proves it right now, like if he can get my camera to work. Okay, we're gonna go to the passenger side of this first car here. Do you have pockets in those pants? 
I'm not actually, I'm not sure. I think so. I don't believe you do. It's locked. Hang on. I don't understand why I'm getting arrested and I'm getting a hurt. They're pushing them off of me, but I'm getting a hurt. Like, I don't understand why I'm the one getting arrested. Okay. 646 East Main Street, it's an 024 truck, black in color, it's first 321, 2023, T-Map. Can you promise my hair stay with me? So you get to the jail, once you get to the jail, I don't know what they'll do with it, that's going to be on that. How do I? I won't let you fall. Nicola was charged with domestic violence. Nicola made a significant mistake by trying to control her husband, but she also has a lesson worth learning. She did not resist or interfere with the police officer's work. Otherwise, she might have faced more charges than she does now. So, regardless of any mistakes you may have made, always maintain respect and strive to cooperate with law enforcement officers rather than resist them. This approach won't necessarily ensure you avoid charges if you've committed a crime, but it can greatly facilitate a smoother and more comfortable investigation process, potentially minimizing additional legal consequences. The story we are about to delve into is the dramatic tale of this woman. Listen to me. Please, hey! Please. Let me go, you f***ing asshole! I need yeah, to I'm pee! Gonna, I'm gonna... I need to pee! This incident occurred on November 3rd, 2023. Police officers received a call requesting assistance regarding a domestic dispute. The caller stated that his girlfriend attacked him with a guitar and engaged in other violent behaviors. After obtaining the details, the officers promptly arrived at the scene and assessed the man's condition. He revealed the cause behind the violence, which may come as a shock to you. And here is the situation as it unfolded upon the police's arrival. So, up, man? You hurt? What happened? I didn't want to have sister. Where'd she go? Inside. She's inside. Bit me. Jesus. Scratched you? Scratched me, bit me, hit me in my f***ing face. Yeah. Where does it hurt? Arms, legs? Everywhere. Six times, Central? She does, she does this all the time. Ex-girlfriend now. Ex-girlfriend. Well, I've been saying now I keep coming back to the same shit. Man. I just barely got a case dismissed for this shit. Same thing? She was beating on you? Yeah. Right, well, okay. What's her name? Aurora Fernandez. While the officer was working with a boyfriend, another officer arrived at the house and attempted to approach the woman. Sheriff's office. Well, we have medics on the way. What's going on? When you called us. You know, it's been, it's been, I've been trying to calm her down. She started drinking right away. Did you bite you? What happened? Yeah, I was, well, she, at first it starts off by throwing shit and then she rushes me and, and tackles me. Because I was just laying on the bed just trying to stay calm, you know? And then that's when she comes out of nowhere and just jumps on me. She's scratching me on my arm. And then I get on top and I just hold her down. And then I get tired. I try to like jump off of her and try to leave. Go to the other room and she starts breaking shit. You threaten you with a rock? Yeah, she, she tried to break the window with the lock and then probably got 30 pounder and finally bashed the window in. This is your car? You were in the driver's seat and she threw it through the window? Yeah. Is it still in here? Jesus, man. Okay, so she bit you, she scratched you, threw a rock at you. Man, how are you? I'm gonna check you out real quick, right, man? Nobody else inside, he said. It's just her parents' car. Uh, she broke his guitar. They were fighting. He wouldn't have sex with her. She's on a period. He said no. He bit his leg. He came out here. Had to get into the car. Turn, turn it on to warm up. She grabbed a rock. Threw it through the window. At him while he was in the driver's seat. Get away from him while he was calling 911. She's 40, or 57. She's drunk. He said it's been going on all night. A while later, the woman also opened the door to let the police in. As soon as the officers entered, she began crying and blaming her boyfriend. However, that demeanor vanished as she continued to pour out harsh words about her boyfriend. It seemed the display of anguish she was trying to convey didn't ring true, as her face and words transformed into anger when mentioning her boyfriend. Hey, just come out here and talk to us. No, you can come in. I'm not going down. I can come in? Yeah. All right, just sit right here. What's going on? He's a f***ing asshole. You f***ing hurt me all over that place. You're going to come check out your hand. What happened to your hand? I don't know. You f***ing hurt me. You can punch me in the eye. You're out as well, it's clear from. <laughs> you have any light in here that I can turn on? It's right here, this switch? <laughs> Alright. You 
fucking hit me. I was trying to defend myself. <laughs> fucking punched me in the eye. I don't know. I heard all over. Did you lose consciousness when he punched you? I don't know. I had a drink today. I had just started drinking and he got pissed off and that's when he started hitting me. <laughs> so have a seat. I need something to drink. Alright, I'll get you some to drink. Have a seat. Right. That's his phone. I don't know where he f***ing threw my phone. Your phone's over. Your phone's right here. <laughs> Let me see. Can we get that phone? That's his phone. No, I paid just for it. it. I paid for it. I'm not giving him a phone that I paid but for. But you just told me it's his phone. If he's not gonna be with me, he don't need it. I still am paying on that phone. Okay, but that's your phone though, right? Correct? This one? Right. I pay for everything here. I pay for everything here. He's not even a f***ing man to be even paying for shit here. He told me. I wanna get your side though. Well, then go with it. Your demeanor changed really, really quick after yeah, getting cool. that water. Because apparently this is not new to both of you. No, it isn't. Right? But he's the one that keeps on coming back. Why do you let him back? Because I think he's going to change and he does it. Then he turns into even worse. And look what he does to me. Are you what he f***ing says to me and everything. Everything he f***ing does to me. He tries to play the f***ing With her flimsy reasoning, it's clear that Aurora's statements weren't convincing enough for the police to believe her. If the boyfriend's statement is correct, then the one trying to play the victim to deceive the police is her, and she is the main aggressor in this disturbance. One notable aspect of this case is that the boyfriend courageously called the police to report his situation, and he will be liberated from this woman. However, not every man is as brave. There are still many cases worldwide where women abuse their partners simply because their partners do not comply with their demands, and these men choose to suffer in silence due to societal stigma against revealing such matters. What are your thoughts on this issue? Please join the discussion with everyone here. He came out here, I was sitting here. Okay. And I was drinking and he f***ing got pissed off and he f***ing started talking shit to me. Stuff about? Because I was drinking. Nothing else? There's no other reason besides the drinking? Have you been drinking? No. She wanted to have sex. I didn't want to have sex. She said she was on a period. She wanted to have sex. She's on her period, so... Do you, yeah. do you know if she's on her period? Like, have you seen her use and pads? She told me she was, yeah. She told me that she was bleeding. More than usual, because, I don't know, but Heavy flow or whatever. She just started calling me a saying that she could get it anywhere else, and blah blah blah, and... When the police asked the woman to step outside as they might need to search the premises, Aurora refused and began to grow tense. Ignoring the opportunities presented by the police, she continued to escalate the situation. The climax came when she called her mother for help and cursed at the officers as scoundrels. This woman doesn't deserve any further chances and should be arrested immediately. Do you agree with this? I need you to step out of the... I'm not room. stepping outside. Listen to me. Hold on. I'm not stepping outside. Listen to me. Likely getting a search warrant for the residence. You go right ahead. Okay. So I need you to get out. I'm not going to get out. Arrest or whatever the fuck you need. But I am not leaving my premises right here. If you do not leave, what you are doing is you're obstructing me I don't give a from shit. the investigation. I don't f***ing give a shit. I don't I, give I a shit. I told you two minutes ago, it's in your best interest to cooperate with us. We're just in an investigation state. You see what he done to me. I also saw what you did to him. Exactly. I will get a f***ing lawyer okay. and f***ing sue your guys' ass. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and, and I'll that. get my f***ing parents over here. Call your lawyer right now. This Tom. is f***ing ridiculous on. with you guys. Because we, I, I want you to know right now, we are giving you optimal opportunity. I don't think As, my parent over here. Aren't you an adult? For they can witness. Mom! Yeah. Can you come to the trailer, please? Come to the RV. I don't want these motherfuckers to arrest me. Tell me that I have to leave the scene because it's a, a crime scene and so and so. We would arrest you right now if we had enough. She continued to resist refusing to leave the house and prolonging the situation by recounting another story in an attempt to persuade the police to let her off. Why would I want to put you in handcuffs? Because that's how it is. And how did, how did the van have a breaking broken window now? Because I was sitting in the van You're and sitting. I ended up going out the passenger seat when he I heard the crashing sound of the window. And then you heard the crashing sound? No. And you jumped over to the... No, because he was banging on the window and I got out and that's when he, the window just like crushed and I came back inside. Aurora's current narrative inadvertently exposed inconsistencies with her earlier statements, leading the police to determine that she was the primary aggressor. The arrest warrant was issued shortly thereafter. However, given Aurora's physical resistance and piercing screams, 
this arrest is likely to co. Despite Aurora being an unpleasant woman, lacking legal knowledge, and having a confrontational nature, her mother is quite the opposite. Do you want some shoes? Uh -uh. Can you step up? Why? Do you want to go talk to your mom real fast? No. Yeah, just step outside and talk to her. Well, Aurora, I'm telling you right now, you're, you're going to be under arrest. Okay? For what? For domestic violence. No, he's the one that hit me. He did hit you. But I, I need you to get up because you're going to be under arrest. I'm not going to get up. He f***ing loosened my teeth, f***ing made me a black eye, and you're going to f***ing arrest me. The thing is, ah, ah, you're is hurting you're, me. Sit up. You you're are resistant. hurting sit me. Up. Move your feet. Do you and not step see up. my fucking, my finger is bruised from where uh, he hit me last time? I'm not getting up. I need to go to the bathroom first. Stop it, mom, 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 mom. Aurora, if you get up, you can go to the bathroom. Look at it. Look okay. at that. What are they doing? They want to arrest me. Hey, She's getting hey, arrested. Get out of the car. Listen to me. Hey, please. let me go, you fucking asshole. I need hey, to pee. I, 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 I need to pee. I need to go hey, to the wait, bathroom. Wait. You fucking asshole. Aurora, cut it out. Despite her love for her daughter, Aurora's mother did not interfere with the police arrest. Instead, she even advised Aurora to take responsibility for her actions. The mother likely felt very distressed seeing her daughter become such an unpleasant person. You don't need to stop talking. Don't talk. Just, just, just listen. Just, Abrora, listen. just Abrora, listen to them. Just listen. Abrora, you were doing okay. Where in the hell did you go? I didn't go anywhere. Okay? And then just, was she clean from drinking I and then just started again? I have not been drinking in no, forever. No, she wasn't drinking. She oh. like, need to loosen this and, and, uh, uh, handcuff. Oh, she get up. Me and loosen the f***ing handcuff. It's hurting me. Wait a minute. I'm not twisting it. Yes, Twist it. Anyway, loosen it. Please take loosen it. She hasn't been listening to us. She's been like this the entire time. As you can see, there's a lot of space in the handcuffs. Either you can turn it or it's gonna break. Those are loose. No, it isn't. No, asshole. Ascaso. No, they want me to one, two, three. I'm not going outside there. We gave her the hey, clothes. She hey. just doesn't want to, so. You are in trouble. No. Well, no, because that f***ing she called and that's why. I need well, to pee. How are you Aurora, gonna, hey, calm down. Aurora, are you going to let me down. piss on myself? We're, We're going to let you go pee gonna if you would calm myself? down. Calm down, asshole. Even with your mom here, you're acting like this. Do you not see me? Don't yell at your mother. Do you not see me? All right, mom. Let's go outside. No, let's hear what's going on. You're disrespecting your mom for a month. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm on my f***ing period, you stupid asshole. Hey. Shh. Ya, Aurora. Let me bien. go to the bathroom. Por Bien, también, no, que no, están no, ahí no, chingando. You, well, they have to do their work. Mama. They have to do their work. <coughs> so, okay. so, so, I, I can go ahead and release them, right? Because I, <laughs> I released that mother. Hey, we'll just run to the hospital real quick. Now we can go. I out. need to go to the I'm bathroom right there. there. Lock the door. I need to go to the bathroom. So, no, I need to go to well, the bathroom. It's gonna get worse. I need something. to go to the bathroom. It's gonna get worse. Hey, tell you what. Let me go to the bathroom. Wait. Let me go to the bathroom at least. Ask you to I'm allow us, and, and you have any more allow us? Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, so let me go to the bathroom. I'm not going walking go. out there. Let me go to the bathroom. It doesn't. No question nada. Let me go, go to the bathroom. Oh, to Take pee. her out. Take her out. Get her out of here. Go. Get her out of here. I need to pee. Aurora escalated the situation to a climax when officers decided to move her to the vehicle. She fiercely resisted, prompting the officers to use special measures to safely transport her to the vehicle. You should remember that when being arrested by the police, try to stay calm and cooperate with them. This way, at the very least, you might get basic requests met, like using the restroom or doing something else. Never act like Aurora, because resisting only brings more suffering upon yourself in the end. I was trying to get him out there. Are you kidding me? Stand up! I'll drag you a goddamn infant. Are you gonna sit up so we can put you in a car like an adult? You. Alright, roll on your side. You. Relax, okay? Can you sit up on your butt? No. You. All right, you know what? Ew. I'm not going All to. Right. I need a piss. I already told you. I'll show you a piss on my car. 
Right, back up. Oh. Back up, I got it. Oh. Go this side. God. Why are you gonna make it so hard, man? We're gonna pull oh. you back, alright? Oh. Have a seat. After successfully seating Aurora, the officers returned to the house where her mother stood to discuss the ongoing situation with her. Basically what happened, she's upset about the sexual relationship that they are having or not having. She's on her period, started biting him. When I talked to her, her story doesn't match up. His story matches up to everything that we've seen inside here. The aggressor. She also broke that window. She did it. She said mm -hmm. that he did it. They're, She's they're trying to blame both, everything on him. They're both the same. They're both the same. Oh, I agree. He's not supposed to be here anyway. <laughs> but exactly. Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, because he had court. He was supposed to have had court, but I guess they dropped some charges. Gotcha. An ongoing thing. Aurora was then taken to prison, where she proceeded to create further disruptions. That's the law. Disgusting. <laughs> That's right. That's what you f***ing did to me, you f***ing asshole. Mm -hmm. Huh? Nothing? nothing less. But nothing less. Can you pull my shirt down? Yeah, absolutely. Better. Just walk this way, please. She is charged with aggravated battery, criminal damage to property, interference with communications, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, and resisting arrest. Do you have any opinions or comments on this case? Feel free to leave your thoughts below the video and discuss them with everyone. Let's proceed with the next encounter involving the granddaughter of a police officer, Jacqueline Ayers, a 40-year-old woman from New Jersey. On June 19, 2023, police officers conducted a traffic stop with this driver after receiving reports from citizens. It was observed that she was allegedly swerving her vehicle erratically across the road, causing traffic congestion and exposing her impaired mental and intoxicated state. Hi, right, man. Do you remember just yeah. stepping out of the car? What's your first name? I'm sorry. Jacqueline. Jacqueline? All right, Jacqueline. Yeah, just step over here for me. Right on. So, what'd you say you drank today? I did drink today, yeah. What'd you have? I went to Dodden's this morning. When approached by the police and asked about her driving behavior, Jacqueline openly admitted to crying over her ex-boyfriend who is a police officer and confessed to drinking alcohol before getting behind the wheel. I will okay. lie to you. Yeah, no, I appreciate and that. And on top of it, I'm going through a shitty ass breakup. Okay. I met up with my friend. My friend actually just called me. When's the, when's the last time you drank today? Do you know what time it was? Um, I had a glass of wine. I had two drinks at Donovan's. I had like Tito's, like mixed no, drinks. No, orange, orange crushes. I went okay. I had there. Okay. And I've just been like really upset because of okay. everything in my act. What, what time was your last drink? Probably like an hour ago. About and an I hour was, ago. I was crying. Okay. So my friend just called me before. I don't like to lie. I appreciate so. that. No. So. Okay. Yeah. I was like nervous. Yeah, can you someone who was behind you was going to the way you were No, it was my friend that was behind me, and he, he's a cop, actually. Despite Jacqueline continuously providing personal reasons, the police then gave her the opportunity to perform a sobriety test right at the scene. Just turn I'm face, sorry. turn and face me. Yeah, do you know wear contacts or glasses? No, I do not. No. Okay. Okay. What color is the tip of this pen? White. It's white. All right. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to tell you to do, just stand there with your arms on your sides, your legs mm -hmm. together. You can just hold on to it right now. All right. So what I'm going to have you do is follow the tip of my pen. Do you understand yes. the instructions? I understand. Just your, your eyes. eyes keep, right? Yep. Keep your head straight and just follow with your eyes and your eyes only. Do you understand? Okay. He just didn't... Throughout the testing process, Jacqueline repeatedly mentioned her friend who is a police officer. She continued to refer to her uncle, who is also a police officer. What is she hoping to achieve by saying these things? She should have kept it secret, considering that she has violated traffic laws and is old enough to understand her responsibilities. They come through before you? Um... So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you do a couple, uh, you know, tests, walking in. I know what you're. So is the sheriff. I'm like cousin's a cop and trust her. Okay. Person, I'm a good girl. I'm not I'm saying you're not. Family. No. I'm scared. You're making me a little nervous. No. Nope. Yeah. I've been through a lot of shit. Do you so. want to? Do you want to do the test? I'll do the test for you. Okay. Sure. All right. Leg issues, knee issues, surgeries, nothing like that. Okay. So what I'm gonna have? I'm being honest with you. I no, I appreciate your honesty. Appreciate you appreciate your honesty. Make sure that you're okay to drive. All right. I'm okay to drive. I'm just a little nervous. All right. I'm gonna have you put your. I'm gonna have you put your left foot on the line and put your right foot in front of your left. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left, touching heel to toe. Yes. Yep. And keep your arms on your sides and don't do anything until I tell you to begin. You understand? All right. You. So you have any questions? No. 
All right, you may begin. Keep your arms out at your sides. Step oh, heel to toe. As predicted, she failed the test. The results of these tests, combined with her own confession and observed driving behavior, provided sufficient evidence for the police to arrest Jacqueline for driving under the influence, DUI. Your arms down at your sides there. Sorry. Okay, you can pick it back up again. Sorry. Just count out loud, too. Sorry. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, twelve. You can put your foot down, okay? You can put your foot down. All right. Can you turn around for me? Yeah. Put your hands down the back one. Together, you got a 41 for 450. Can you dispatch? No, no, you're not doing anything. Jacqueline, we have to. Alright, you you're not. You're not okay to drive, okay? No, I can Turn, actually... Don't make it more difficult. We're just gonna go inside. We're gonna no. process you. You're gonna be released tonight. You're gonna be released. Right? No, it's a, it's a, it's a ticket. Don't to be anywhere. Like, I'm okay. not trying to do anything it's, with that. It, listen, I, listen. You gotta understand something. It's a, not cooperate with me. I'm okay. cooperating. Okay. So you're gonna get Great. released tonight. You're as long going. as you're not gonna hurt me. No, we're not hurting you. Out. Great. As long as you guys don't hurt me. We're not, we're hurt not hurting you. As long as you cooperate with us, everything's gonna be fine. Are those too tight for you? A little bit, yeah. No, you Can I at least put my shoes you guys on? Good. We'll yeah, give you yeah, a few yeah, seconds. Absolutely. Let me just lock the handcuffs, okay? Now, the woman will be transferred to the main headquarters for processing. Like I said, this is just a traffic ticket. We just have to go to the headquarters. We have to process. Great, another f***ing shit that I have to fucking deal with. Wait. All right, go ahead and step in. Just watch your head. Oh, great. Uh, so, you mind if I take your glasses off your head? No, I'd like to keep them on, please. They're $550. Is there any way you can, like, loosen these a little? They hurt. No, they're, they're loose enough. You just don't lean back on them. That's all. Seatbelt you real quick. I don't want that like that. I just want to make sure you're safe. Well, you're, you're pulling on the top of the seatbelt. I'm Is that okay? Trying. Are you, are you comfortable want, with that? Not really. Is the seatbelt okay? So we're, when I get back, where am I going to go? Like, what do you mean? Am I going to be like with other people? No, it's just going to be paperwork, okay? Alright? It's just a traffic ticket. Is your car key in your purse? <laughs> Did you put it in your purse? I need to call my ex we'll, 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 we'll let you call somebody, all right? I need to call him. Is your car key in your purse or did you put it in your car? It's in my car, in the middle console. In the middle console? Okay. okay. Sit tight from here for one minute, okay? I'll be right back. Thank you. Sorry. Nope, that's okay. I understand. Tight spaces. I get it. Yep, just slide to the edge of the seat and then... I know, it's it's very awkward. Sorry. Right. Nope, that's okay. I'm just, I can't even wipe my eye. Well, now get inside, I'll take the handcuffs off, and then you can do that, okay? This one right here. At the police station, Jacqueline was offered a breathalyzer test, an important procedure in determining the alcohol level in her body as a motor vehicle operator. However, Jacqueline still refused to take the breathalyzer test. I can't let you have it? I just need a number to call my ex. Okay, you don't remember it off the top of your head? No. Okay, all right, and just lift your tongue up. Nope, lift your tongue up, so I can see, to the roof of your mouth. No, lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. No. Can you That's all I can do. Like, put your tongue up to the roof That's of your mouth? That's all I can do. Your tongue doesn't go up? I did. I can't, I, I need That's to see underneath it. That's all my tongue can do. Keep it in your mouth and just lift it up. Okay. All right, Jacqueline. You can go ahead and grab that number. All right. Would it be okay? Uh, yeah. Do you ask to call him on your phone? No, nope, that's that's fine. You can call him in there. All right. To hear that would be able to come get you. Despite being confronted with extensive evidence, Jacqueline refused to submit to breath testing, a crucial procedure in determining intoxication levels while operating a vehicle. The officer duly informed her of the consequences of her refusal including the likelihood of arrest and a subsequent court appearance. However, Jacqueline managed to convince a friend to sign for her release from police custody, thereby avoiding immediate consequences. Okay, 
I'm in trouble. I got pulled over. Oh, don't get, please don't get mad at me. <laughs> so they, they pulled me over with what's this? Please. I don't want to call my parents. Never remember me before. What town is this? Little Silver. Little Silver Police. What is it? Little Silver. Little Silver. Yeah. What's his name? My friend Jim. Jim. Hello, Jim. <laughs> I'm good. This is Officer Gilmore. Doing okay. All right. Uh, so Jacqueline here, she's under arrest for, uh, for driving while intoxicated. All right. Uh, we just need a responsible to come in that we can release her to. All right. And she uh, she said she wanted to have you come and do it. Would you be uh, able to come down here? <laughs> okay. All right, our uh, department number is 732-747-5900. That is re uh, willing to take responsibility for her because they have to complete the Johns Law form and uh, and be responsible for her for the next 12 hours. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, uh, 480. Nevertheless, she now faces a daunting legal battle as she awaits her day in court, charged with multiple offenses including operating under the influence refusal to submit to a chemical test, reckless driving, traffic on marked lanes, and use of a handheld wireless telephone while driving. These charges underscore the serious legal implications of her actions and the potential penalties she may face if found guilty, highlighting the importance of adhering to traffic laws and regulations for the safety of all road users. This is Karina, 30 years old, the woman who thought her father is an FBI agent and she wouldn't have to take responsibility for anything. The incident occurred in early 2023, when the police received a report regarding a drunken woman causing a disturbance after being removed from a flight. Miss, you're not free to leave. Okay, no you're not. Come here. All right. When the police arrived, the woman refused to cooperate and quickly entered the restroom to hide. anybody to get off the flight there has to be a reason they literally they didn't i voluntarily left because i know how it's like that in here so why do you think they wanted you off the flight i have no idea obviously someone doesn't let me it has nothing to do with the whole flight okay can you open the door so we can go figure this out because i feel like the, the whole reason i don't feel comfortable okay so well i'm, I'm here i'm not gonna leave but i don't know i don't i don't trust you guys because the way that i got kicked off the plane was Okay, so do you want to get to Georgia for the game tomorrow? Yes! So what are you doing in the stall? Let's get out! I'm scared because I don't trust y'all. Well, I'm, I, I wasn't no, I'm there. I'm now because that, that was crazy. I didn't even have to talk. So now, how do you make that? It didn't even matter. Well, I, I don't work for the airline, so. It don't matter who you work yeah. How would you feel? I would it's feel upset. Like I would feel like you to do some shit for no reason. Be yeah. scared. Yeah, and I want I'm some scared. answers. No, I'm scared. No, I'm a mess. But that's why the police are here to help you get some answers. Despite female officers outside attempting to understand the situation and asking the woman to come out of the restroom, she continued to refuse. Well, let's try to get you home, because I'm, I'm here to help you out. Playing in a... I was in the office. I was in the... I was on the plane. Uh-huh. Nobody had a problem with me. I... I, even when I was on the plane, I was like, playing, I'll make this simple. Well, can you I open this... Nobody can you, said anything. Can you open the stall? I'm still, I'm, I'm gonna stand right here. I'm not even gonna come in. I'm not even gonna come in. You're gonna arrest me for what? Who's that? My dad's a lieutenant. Lieutenant where? No, 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 I wanna call, I, 
Yeah, you're, you're we are 911. No, 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 we are 911. No, no, you're restricting me from 911 access as a felony. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. I'm not going to Right, but also, if I want 911, I feel like I'm going to come in. When asked if she had been drinking, the woman consistently evaded the question and stated that she would not answer anything. Did you so did you have anything to drink that would make them think that you would need to be on the plane? Why would they kick you off? So you were being upset, but you didn't have anything to drink? I was like being a little obnoxious. I was like, I don't even talk it. I don't know who. So did you have anything to drink today? I was walking around with my friends. Okay, but did you have anything to drink today? Figure you out here. We gotta see why. No, I was with my friends. I was walking around. Somebody must have come from seat, whatever. Your kids see she got mad. Like, I don't know what to say. So did you have anything to drink today? Honestly, this is inconveniencing my fans. I'm not frontier. So did you have anything to drink today? No, they even said the whole plane said that they were fine with me being there. No, I'm asking you, did you have anything to do? I'm plane. They just said they were fine. I'm not answering any of your questions about this okay. bullshit. The plane okay. just said they were fine with me being there. Did you have fine. anything to eat today? Excuse me, can I, can I talk to you about something? Yeah. Woman and woman? Yeah. I'm letting you know. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you through no, no, no. a call. Okay, regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless. Yeah. Like, I'm not like this whole plane of 165 people. Yeah. And well, do you want to go see if you can get on the plane? Because it's still there. I don't. I'm not allowed on the plane. I'm not gonna fuck up their whole thing. If you go over there civilized, maybe you can I get swear to God, I'm Okay, well, let's go. Let's go. After several instances of flushing water, the woman stepped out of the room. However, things didn't stop there. This is all we want for you to come out. I swear to God. Do you have your boarding pass? Yes, ma'am. Where's your ID? Do you have your ID? Am I? Yes. And you, you swear you didn't have anything to drink today? You're fine. Yes, it's fine. You did not have anything to drink? I am not being out of control. Because you can fly if you haven't had anything to drink and they think you're safe to fly. So just be honest. Just be honest. Thanks to me. Yeah, let's just go out here. Just be honest. Just be honest. Yeah, go. The already left. I know it already left. Do you have any board sex? I'm fine. Can you get it out? Yeah, I need children. Where's your phone today? Did you have anything to drink today? It's a matter of anything. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I guess a lot of business. It is a matter of anything. Can you believe the food? Yeah. Okay. The woman was identified as Karina. She remained adamant in her uncooperative attitude and demanded to speak with her lawyer. Here, come on. So I'm here. Talk to me. What's her name? On this? Karina. Let's sit down right here. Yeah. My dad's a little tiny drunk mom. No. Did you have anything to drink today? Is that against the law? No. That's what I'm asking. Lawyer? No. I'm going to call a lawyer. Did you have anything to eat today? I'm going to call a lawyer. Before I answer any yet? questions, I'm going to call a lawyer. Have you eaten today? That's my lawyer, about it. Okay. Uh, you haven't had anything to eat today? That's my lawyer. You take medication? That's my lawyer. Are you going to Georgia? That's my lawyer. Atlanta? That's my lawyer. Okay. We can both be Not ridiculous. They're running people out of deep. How the hell is this fun? It's great. So how do we want to spend our Sunday night, right? Yeah. yeah. So... We'll just hang tight. I will, I'll be happy to leave. I'm, I'm gonna go see what they want. Okay. Despite the police's efforts to calm the situation, Karina continued to argue. Are you diabetic? Are you having a medical emergency? What do you need paramedics for? Are you diabetic? Are you? Why do you think aren't you a What reason would they have had to have not have you? So we're trying to figure out. Right, so I'm gonna make sure that I was gay on the flight. So, okay, so y'all wanna be like, I don't think you want I don't want that to go out. You don't even have it to go out. That's fine. I said, my girlfriend isn't here. I'm waiting for her. And then all of a sudden, somebody had a bit. Like right this. The fact that I can miss my flight, that I'm missing work, $1,500, and I'm playing it cool. People are judgmental, like, I get it. But that's, that's not okay. Awesome. So, were you trying to defend your situation, and that's why they didn't defend it? Like, you just have to live. To ensure public safety, the police decided to arrest her for disorderly conduct in a public place. Okay, Miss Karina. Please don't touch me if you don't have a reason to. Okay, I have a reason to. Okay. You're, I'm arrested? Yes. And the reason is because I talked to the airline and they said that you were kicking and screaming and causing a disturbance. I was not doing any of that. Okay, it's all being recorded. Yeah. Just take your backpack yeah. off, okay? Are you serious? Take your backpack off. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, well, you, well, you I'm talking to my dad. Calm now. He's a lieutenant. Calm now. No. No, I, I was not kicking and screaming anywhere on that plane. No, pull up the finish. Shoot me then. We're not going to do that. No. We're not going to do that. Oh, that's not good. I'm kidding. 
The arrest seemed to do little to deter Karina's confrontational attitude. She became increasingly resistant, obstructing the officers as they tried to carry out their duties. Oh. I don't want to. Okay. I don't. I really don't feel comfortable. I'm, I'm, I'm standing. I'm standing right here. No, I don't. No, I don't want him touching me. I literally. He's on a power play mode. I don't want him touching me. I'm asking you not to let him touch me. I don't want. I. Hey, not, whoa. Not, do not. Do not. I don't want him touch. Do hey, you? I don't want him stop, touching me. Stop. I said I don't want him touching me. Okay. No, I don't want you touching Karina, me. Why he was doing that? Because now you're kicking. I, yeah, because he's touched me and I don't want him to. Well, right now you're under arrest yeah. and he has that ability. Wow, because I'm under arrest? Okay, f you. Okay, so f you. I want to put some cops in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want him touching me. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. I feel like he was like arrested. I feel like I'm not like, like it wasn't in the right. If I felt like it was in the right, it would be understandable. But I already feel uncomfortable about that. Yeah, how would you feel? Is how your, da your dad's a police officer, how right? How would you feel? Your dad's a police I'm officer. How would you feel? I would you're, feel comfortable because I trust him. Yeah, you feel comfortable. If he's just yeah. touching my leg, take your, your feet off of it. That's not my foot. It is. What's up? Touching it. I promise to be good. We'll let you stand up. You want to stand up? You're saying that you're not going to kick him off? So. Addy, I'll be a good girl. Okay, that's not that's, this, is what, this is what officers try to tell girls to do. Yes, Daddy, I'll be a good girl. No, this is what he's doing. This is what he's doing essentially. Karina, I'm going to get you up. What he's doing? Karina, I'm going to get you up. Karina began to exhibit aggressive behavior and physically attacked by kicking one of the officers. I don't want him to touch him. I seriously don't. No, I don't want him touching me. Karina! 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 Stop! Okay, I said I don't want him touching me. Stop, Karina. I said I don't want him touching me. What don't you understand, what Do not kick an officer. Okay, so I female officers escort me like ass. That's a simple Do not. Do you understand? Do not. He touched me inappropriately. Do you understand? No, he touched don't. Me. I won't. Is she here? Call my lawyer. He touched me inappropriately. I don't want him touching me. You're touching me on my You're not touching yet. me. Right now. Do not kick an officer. No, I don't give a f get my lawyer. Get my lawyer right yeah. now. I don't want him touching me inappropriately. Oh, so far. Ready? Yep. Right. Karina, stand up. Uh, I'll let you okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, what we talked about earlier. Oh, okay. Don't you call my lawyer? No, uh, don't you call my lawyer? Because I don't feel comfortable being around right y'all. Call my lawyer. Call my lawyer right now. Call my lawyer. I'll be a lawyer. I saw a lawyer, my general lawyer. You need to call him right now. Stand up. We're done being nice. You already kicked him twice. Yeah, I don't want to touch him. Her behavior became increasingly bold, especially when she started to threaten the police officers. In a legal context, threatening law enforcement officials is not only a violation of the law, but can also lead to more serious consequences during criminal proceedings. This further complicates and escalates the situation. No, give me my phone now. Uh, you'll get your phone when you get there. You no, get no, no, give me your phone. Step into the car. No. Do not. Do it at. Oh, my goodness. Get in the car. Now call my lawyer. Call my lawyer first. Oh, you go to the holding facility? Shit, bro. Oh, my God. I'm kidding. Oh, really? You better keep an eye on me. If I die tonight, that's in your... I swear to God. See if that's you can, funny. uh... Ratchet that part down there. Excellent. I remember my first beer, bro. Shortly thereafter, Karina was transferred to jail for further processing, where she continued her unruly behavior. Hey, why don't you go with me, babe? Babe, hey, can you please go with me? I feel safer with you. Hey, the girl that was just about to get in, can you go with me, please? I feel safer with you. Yeah, so my coworkers are gonna put out a missing person report for me tomorrow. I'm under with. Yeah, this, this is great for you guys. In a different state since I was literally flying to it. But honestly, I don't give a fuck. Shoot me in the face. I really don't even care. You can shoot me in the face if you want. I really don't care. Let's go! Shoot me in the face.
just shoot me in the face, get over it. Y'all are the ones that need to apologize to my mom after. You should probably take me in the woods, like a little deeper in this though, right? Upon arrival at the jail, Karina refused to exit the vehicle and escalated her behavior by repeatedly threatening the police officers, claiming her father was an FBI agent. Unfortunately, she would soon realize the error of her statements. All right, Karina, so we're going to come in here, okay? No. Yeah, you're going to get out the car for me, and then you'll be able to call your father, all right? Obviously, like, he's already here. He already has my GPS. Okay. Anyway, so that's besides the point. So yeah, so you really want that to happen? Really? You can that's make phone you. calls in here. I don't need a phone call. Well, let's go. That's not you. Okay. The see you are? Yeah. You sure? Positive. Mm. I said think about that for me. Mm -hmm. Sure? I don't think that's in your best interest. No. And it's either you get it out of the car on your own or we're going to have to help you get out of the car. Yeah, I'm just letting you know from what I'm telling you what's in your best interest for your we're career. Don't uh, shoot me in the Please do, right? So we're gonna assist Karina. Don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me. Get me. No, oh my god, I'm such a danger. Get me. I don't want her detaining me. Yeah. I just don't want her touching me. I have no issue being detained. I don't want her detaining me. Go back to the wrong side. Stop touching me. Okay, we're gonna have to search you one more time. Up to this point, Karina has yet to grasp the severity of the situation. She has truly succeeded in escalating a simple incident into something much more serious. We can have a conversation about it. The fact that I'm here right now, I don't trust anybody. Putting my fingerprints on anything. Okay, okay but you're gonna keep something. I'm, I'm not doing it. So do what you gotta do. Cut it off. Cut it off. Then. As soon as no, cut it off. I'm not done. I'm not Karina. done. You will cut it off. No, let them cut it off. Karina. We're done playing. You're not gonna be stupid. Yes, sir. Karina. Why? Right, because I was a gay. I was a gay. I was a gay. I swear to you, I know you're gonna get sued the f out of for being sexually. Yeah, I'm there and I'm wearing. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so it says tits. No, get a picture of that. Get a picture of that. So it says tits. Racist, that's my f. Racist. Yeah, it is racist. Just because no, it says not. tits. No, yeah, it's sexuality is racist. That's racist, though. Alright, because it's rainbow. Yeah, you've been seeing that. No, no, who cares how it's racist? Take it back, okay? Nah, y'all are. You will take it back. Third. You're not there. Finally, Karina was charged with public intoxication, battery upon a peace officer, and resisting arrest. These cases serve as a profound reminder of the importance of respecting and obeying the law. Furthermore, the video emphasizes the principles of equality and mutual respect in relationships. Trying to control or manipulate your partner doesn't make you more attractive or powerful. Instead, such behaviors can land you a free meal ticket at the prison. We hope that this video spreads widely, helping many people learn important legal lessons and avoid similar situations. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next exciting update.